Hello, my name is Budo Balaj and I'm working at the Budapest University of Technology and Economics. And I would like to tell you about the research I've done in the last three years about uh, illegal file sharing uh, communities. In the last few years, there has been a growing academic interest in the uh, illegal peer-to-peer -peer file sharing scene. This interest is due to the intensity of copyright wars, the accelerating transformation of cultural markets, and the sheer ubiquity of the phenomenon. The bulk of this research is anchored in economic and business literature and tries to understand the impact of illegal peer-to-peer -peer file sharing on various markets and industries. The other discipline that has extensively discussed legal uh, file sharing is legal studies. In the era of the Napster and Grokster cases, uh, especially when the legal status of file sharing technologies was in question, file sharing became closely linked to discussions of IP policy and copyright reform. Only a few studies, and those predominantly from developing countries, try to read copyright piracy as a social practice and explore the unauthorized uses of intellectual properties in a wider socio-cultural context. In these accounts, the unauthorized reproduction and dissemination of copyright protected cultural goods is situated within the everyday practices of various social groups, and the questions it raises are related to the issues of development and mobility, modernization, participation, social cohesion and cooperation. Similar studies that examine the non-legal, non-economic aspects of participating in file sharing networks are yet to emerge in Western contexts. This gap in literature was the primary factor behind my research. My aim is to look beyond the legal and economic readings of contemporary Western copyright privacy and understand it as a unique social practice that merits attention not only because of its dubious legality, ubiquity, or the havoc it has played with copyright-based business models, but first and foremost because it shapes the ideas and attitudes of millions of netizens about what intellectual property is and could be, what sharing and online cooperation means in a peer-to-peer -peer setting, what privacy is and how it can be protected, how to form and negotiate online identities in an anonymous environment, just to name a few issues. Piracy is not just a drain on cultural economy, but a powerful productive force whose legacy in social relations will stay with us long after the economic conditions that called it into being and the power vacuum that enabled it have passed. The notion that piracy is more than just a legally contested shadow economy is further supported by the body of research that documents historical examples of copyright piracy, either from a social media history, literary studies perspective, or from a legal history standpoint. These historical accounts of copyright piracy describe the internal norms of information markets both before and after the establishment of national and international layers of regulation. The faces, the motivations and the fates of the copyright pirates are many, but there is only one thing that is common in all of them, uh, that they all exist in the extra-legal domain in the, at the edges of state authority. In this semi-autonomous space, honor among thieves, or synthetic copyrights, entries in the registry of the stationer's company, server-enforced share ratios, and other non-legal structures organize piratical activities. In each and every case we find norms that, while competing with the legal, act to encourage the production of a common pool resource, offer methods to settle dis disputes, and limit free riding. In other words, these bottom-up norms sometimes substitute, sometimes replicate the state-sanctioned layers of regulation that are missing or being denied. Why is the study of these emerging norms especially interesting today? Uh, there are at least three reasons for that. First, even though on paper we have seen a steady strengthening of the protection of intellectual properties, the inability to enforce them resulted in a significantly weaker copyright protection than any time during the last hundred years. That vacuum is partly caused, partly filled by the competing bottom-up norms of file sharing communities. The weakened property rights, along with the emergence of file sharing networks, 
created a de facto common pool of resources from the musical, audiovisual, textual works circulating in the digital underground. This commons has proved to be quite resilient to attacks from the outside as well as from those internal issues that can lead to a tragedy of the commons. Many file sharing communities seem to have successfully solved the problems of managing a common pool of resource as well as protecting it from, in this case, enclosure. <coughs> there is, however, little to no research on the actual mechanisms of how these commons are maintained, protected and replenished. Second, even from the existing uh, accounts, it is evident that non-monetary incentives and co complex uh, social motivations play a crucial role in the existence and successful survival of file-sharing communities and of those resource pools <coughs> around which these communities gather. Beyond the technologically enforced compulsory rules, informal community norms encourage voluntary cooperation. Third, none of the subtle differences between different private communities described is described with the current economic and legal language used to discuss copyright privacy, despite the fact that they have profound economic and legal consequences on legal markets and on general copy norms alike. Current discourse on copyright piracy tends to homogenize a wide variety of fundamentally different practices with reductionist legal and economic arguments. <clears throat> Following the footsteps of Larry Lessig, I hope that the time is now ripe to step beyond the monolithic understanding of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing by enriching the currently fragmented research landscapes with a social sciences-based piracy research. A piracy research that describes the government structures of different file-sharing communities, that studies the different cooperation methods required to maintain an illegal information commons, and that finally situates these findings in a comparative framework that includes historical practices of extra-legal self-regulation of information markets. Thank you for your attention.